This right here is the Zara Aura build that won the Korean Championships. Muscle Buddy Focus with a fluffy tail. <laughs> I almost said the wrong thing. Muscle Buddy Focus with a fluffy tail. Discharge Zara Aura. Let's check it out inside of a game here. Hi, by the way, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. And my question of the day for you is LeChunk? 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 All right, here we go. Heading to the bottom path. Little experience for both of us there. Oh, no. Thought they were gonna get that last hit, they didn't. They're gonna get that one and then this one. Nope. Okay. Don't know where their team is yet. They're taking our buffs, that's fine. We should take theirs. We get the KO here. Gonna score. Big score. Ooh, for some reason, my slash wasn't working there. I think it's because I was hitting B to hit wild Pokemon. So our buffs are gone, obviously. No, only one. Hmm. Where is the other person around here? I'm gonna let them get the last hit here so they can get their four. Oh, there's Age of Slash. Okay, buddy. Char is here somewhere. Ooh, and Gengar. Okay. Here we go. Now this is getting interesting. Three of them down here. This is going to be a hard fight. going to back up, grab a berry. Just get ready here. Ooh, missed. That full heal stopped my knock up there. There we go. Bolt switch. Ooh, Gengar. What kind of Gengar are you? What kind of Gengar are you? Take that, run. Run, run, run. We need level eight fast when you're Zara Aura. <laughs> uh, Zara Aura is not too good until it gets level eight, but then once it's level eight, you know, you get your move. You know, you're doing a lot better. Our job is gonna be burning objectives if we can. We're gonna try to burn Dreadnaw. Things like that. Got level seven. Looking pretty good. Got a little bit of a fight happening here. Ooh, almost got Melian. The sword's gonna slash through here in one sec. There it is. Got it. Ooh, I go down here, I think. The trick helped me. Get some distance on that fight. I just wanna get this quick. Try to get my eight. I'm so close to level eight. There we go. Discharge. I'm not going to have my fluffy tail because I burnt it a second ago, but I just wanted to burn that fast enough to hopefully get my level 8 here. That was my only thought. Get level 8. Get level 8. Got that. Just taking experience from them right now. Both goals are still up, which means these Audinos just continue spawning down here. Which means there's just a lot of experience to fight over. And I can get my 10 hopefully pretty soon because of it. Nice job. Char goes down. Ooh, Zarina's staying. Ooh, Gengar's here. Oh boy. Did not realize Gengar was still here. Hiding. Waiting probably for us right there. Well, it worked out. You can't even score one. <laughs> Now with Discharge Sarah Aura around, you couldn't even score one Greninja. That's a sad, that's a sad moment right there. That was pretty sad. Can't score one, come on now. Dang, this Gengar is just waiting. It's just hanging out and waiting for KOs. Which is okay, because we're getting a lot of experience and they're not scoring, but still, 
You know, it's putting us in a tough spot at times. Oh, I see you. He's coming back. He's got to have an attack weight or something. Ah, dang. Unite move. Almost. Gotta dodge it. Oh, he got me. He got me with the Dream Eater. Dang it. Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. He got me with that Dream Eater, though. Alright, let's take this. We just burn that up. It goes down quick. Goes down smooth, that Dredna. I can't believe some Zero Auras actually got played in the tournament. I just, I don't think it's good enough, personally, but... I mean, teams are winning with it, so... Far be it for me to tell them that they're wrong. They won a championship with a Zero Aura, so... Yeah, it's... It's good. It's good enough, apparently. Is, is this a fight? Is this a winnable fight? I guess I should have come up and just used my Unite move. I think that's actually the right play there. I thought it wasn't that good of a fight, honestly. Whoa, Gengar. Once again, he's just waiting. He just hides in the tall grass, waiting for those big snipes. He's been doing it all game. We're going to have to watch him around the final fight. I have a feeling they're going to hide in the tall grass and wait for big snipes. Seems to be their MO. Almost got my level 14. Which is not always the easiest thing to do with Zeroor, you know? Zeroor is a tough one to fully level sometimes. Need some of this to spawn here. Where's it all at? Yeah, you, you better run. I don't really want to fight you, but you better run! You right here? Oh, you're right there. B is spawning mid. This will give me my 14. Nice. There we go. Didn't want to use my fluffy tail a second ago just because it would have immediately went on a small B and that feels like sad. Ooh, we got Dread too. I'm almost level 15 then because of that. Thank you. All right, almost level 15. You know one way that maybe could fix speedsters? I was just thinking, what if they just get more experience for KOing wild Pokemon than everyone else? So the Gengar is waiting. It's waiting for a tall grass snipe. It's probably up there. Let's see. get a lot of them here. Greninja might get us, though. Nice. Let's go. We get this. They don't make it back in time. They don't make it back in time. GG! Zara Aura! The championship Zara Aura build. I mean, look. It's fun to use. It's fun to burn objectives. This is the Zara Aura that I always played. This was probably my build from way, way back. I bet if you look at one of my oldest videos, my Zara Aura video from a long, long time ago, this is probably the same build. I probably ran a Fluffy Tail, Muscle Band, Focus Band, Buddy Barrier. It's been pretty good for a long time. I still think Zara needs some love, but hey, we had a really fun match with it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Oh!